All right, at 633, the world's first nuclear aircraft carrier is deploying for the last time. USS Enterprise is leaving Naval Station Norfolk Sunday. The strike group headed to the Arabian Sea to answer threats from Iran in the Straits of Hormuz. Ten of your sides, Liz Palka is live at Naval Station Norfolk, where crews have been getting ready for Big E's final mission. Hey, Liz. Hey, good morning, Carrie. And there seems to be a hint of nostalgia as the men and women prepare to deploy on this 50-year-old aircraft carrier, but that doesn't diminish the job that they have before them. Commanding Officer Bill Hamilton says the Enterprise will spend a lot of time in the Middle East. He said the crew will be vigilant and has already spent a month at sea practicing for this deployment. About the crew, there are 5,500 sailors that are a part of the USS Enterprise Carrier Strike Group. For some of the men and women on board, this is their first deployment. Others began their military careers on the Enterprise years ago. Here's Rear Admiral Ted Carter on the Enterprise's 22nd deployment. So I think it's a tremendous statement for our United States Navy and the aircraft carrier in general that this aircraft carrier will go out and service uh, for our nation at 50 years, the same as a carrier that's five years old doing the exact same mission. But Rear Admiral Carter says this is not a celebratory deployment. Like their 21 other missions, this is a combat deployment. And the USS Enterprise deploys on Sunday. We're live at Naval Station Norfolk. Liz Palka, 10 on your side. All right, you can find much more about this historic deployment at wavy.com. We've got a special coverage page for the USS Enterprise. Head on over to the military page under the news tab. On the top right, there's a link. Click it, and you'll find a timeline of the Big E slideshows, a Twitter feed, and much more.